Uh, my name is Jennifer Eason, and I'm the owner and founder of Jennifer's Edibles Restaurant here in Evanston, Illinois. Um, I've been doing this for about 15 years <laughs> or so. I've been at this location at 1623 Simpson for, for about four years now. Uh, I would say my parents, my family. Um, I come from a long line of entrepreneurs here, here raised and born in Evanston. Uh, my, my grandfather, uh, Robert Lee Eason Sr., owned uh, Eason Brothers Construction, and uh, that employed all my uncles and my dad, and um, all of my aunts and uncles are entrepreneurs and uh, brothers and sisters, so it's, it's more generational. It's, it's kind of like a spirit, you know, we have. Um, not so much that I can't work for people, because I have, but uh, I always wind up in this position to be um, uh, an entrepreneur or a business owner. Um, I think it was just the love of food, and uh, I remember years ago I I seen uh, I seen a video or something. This lady was talking, and she was saying, you know, I was trying to figure my life out and figure out what I wanted to do. Um, you know that old adage of uh, uh, Jack all trades, uh, master of none. So I could do a lot of different things, you know, I could do hair, I could, you know, I was in sales and marketing, and but the real passion I had was for cooking. And so when I heard her say that, you know, whatever you do for free, you know, that you wouldn't mind doing for free, that's what you should make your your um, your business or your your uh, career out of because it it won't be like work you know it'll be like you know just what you do every day and so from that point I believe it was like back in the early 90s you know mid 90s and so from that point um, I looked into different ways to expand what I already knew and uh, early in the 2000s I decided to go to Kendall College, uh, their culinary arts program. So I did that, and um, here I am today. Um, there were some classes that were probably a little bit more technical, um, but I mean, if, if you have a, a basic knowledge of cooking, um, the culinary arts just kind of enhanced um, what I already knew. And that's why I went because, you know, you grow up learning how to cook one kind of way or one type of food or, you know, in our case, we're black, so soul food or, you know, but my mother grew up in uh, Glenview. No, not Glenview. Um, she grew up in the far north suburbs. Um, and so her palate was a little different. You know, she didn't grow up on, on traditional soul food and things like that. So with my father being from Mississippi, and um, she, she was an army brat. So, you know, they went all over and uh, landed here. Um, but she had a different palate. So meshing those two together is kind of how I grew up cooking. But at the same time, I did want to diversify a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So I did uh, like different um, cuisines, like Mediterranean cuisines and Indian foods and uh, Italian, like what we call Italian here is not truly Italian food, you know, and making our cheeses from scratch and things like that. So it, it did um, help me you know, to diversify and look at food a little bit differently. Um, I think it's just the fact that, um, again, that's how uh, we were raised. Um, we come from a very large family, and so whoever had 
or didn't have or you know we always took care of each other um i i don't think it was a situation where um people uh like our people normally didn't like put our parents or grandparents in nursing homes and things like that uh but you know we they were generations in the home and taking care of the kids and things like that. Uh, or neighbors, you know, Evanston was a very diverse or is a very diverse town. And so we kind of helped each other. Uh, and so it's just, it was just the way we were raised. It, it wasn't anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you had it and somebody didn't, you gave it to them, you know? Or um, if somebody was down and out on their luck or, you know, you help where you can. I believe that for for myself, I can't speak for women in general. I can say for myself that um, one of the challenges, well, I've, I've had quite a few challenges um, uh, coming to this place uh, prior to being a, a brick and mortar, um, you know, catering, I was doing catering and personal chefs. So that's a, a different monster in itself, it, you know, but having an actual brick and mortar and um, kind of commanding or, you know, demanding the respect, you know, your, your either counterpart uh, white woman or man white or black would receive um it's almost like you have to demand it you know because people look at us in a different way um and then if you are firm you're an angry black woman right so it's this this balance <laughs> right <laughs> um of of uh operating in a business world uh, where you and I'm, I'm pro I tell them all the time I'm probably the worst boss ever because I don't have that uh, that mean or you know what is it called like uh, slave driver kind of you know I don't I'm not a micromanager I don't you know nitpick uh, which sometimes is good but sometimes it's bad but at the same time. You know, I, I was like, I'm probably a, a terrible boss in that sense because, <laughs> you know, uh, but I just like the place, how it's set up and, you know, the people that work for me or work with me, I want them to feel like family, you know, and that's, that's the environment that we've created here. Um, it's also uh, in, in the financial world, I found it challenging because when I got here, I've still worked a full-time job. I had over a 700 credit score and I was offered $2,500 as a business loan, you know? So it's those type of challenges. And then um, I've had to more dig and, you know, uh, learn by trial and error opposed to, um, I mean, this is not the first restaurant that was built, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> there's information out there to say, oh no, don't do that, or, you know, or people. Um, and I, I have not had that. Most of what I've learned is literally by trial and error, so. I would say to do a lot of research beforehand. Get yourself a mentor, a true mentor, uh, that will walk you through the process. There are different agencies that I ran across that, um, that help in that respect. Um, get some business coaching. If you haven't taken business classes, take some business classes learn how to manage money, learn how to uh, manage people. Um, and this is all prior to. Um, one of the best things uh, my catering teacher in school told us is, everybody can cook. Everybody's not a business person. 
you know? And so um, just having the passion to cook is not enough, really. Um, it's so much more that goes into it, uh, especially if you want to be a, a business owner or a restaurant owner. The restaurant industry is one of the most oversaturated uh, industries in the world. Um, so, you know, to be successful, you have to have a, a very good plan and uh, very good financial backing. You know, and that all that needs to be done prior to, or it will be very difficult. <laughs> Trust me, I know. 